Okay, we're gonna go over the cool downs today. And so for the first one, it's from lesson nine, and you can look at your graded paper as I'm going through this. But it says to find the area of the shaded region, explain or show your reasoning. So I've got one fourth and five. So I know when I find the area, I multiply the length times the width, or I can multiply the width times the length. So I've got five times one fourth. And so we've been practicing with these and we know that we multiply five times one. And so that gives us five fourths because we don't multiply the denominator. And you know, we can change any whole number into a fraction by putting a one underneath it. And we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So that's another way you can think of this as being five fourths. Now, I could have also counted these, since these are fourth size pieces, I've got one, two, three, four of them. So that makes one whole, and then I've got one fourth left over. So five fourths is the same as one and one fourth, and then when I'm counting these, you know, I've got the four here, and then I've got this extra one fourth. So I can either name that as five fourths or one and one fourth. So now on lesson 10, we had a similar problem. And so for it, it says write a multiplication expression to represent the area of the shaded region. So now I've got three fourths. You know, I can see that there's three out of the four pieces shaded. And we've also got a, a length of five again. So it would be five times three fourths. So if I multiply the five times the three, I end up with 15 fourths. And that's what number two, they're asking us to find the area of the shaded region. So we wrote our expression here and then I just went ahead and found the area. So 15 fourths, you know, if I wanted to use the picture to do that, I could count and I do have 15 of these one fourth pieces. Now I could take, you know, one from here to fill this one in if I took this one, that would fill in this one. And then I have, now I've got three completely filled in. And then I've got three fourths left over. So three and three fourths. You know, you could also think about how many fourths I can make with 15 and I can make three of those because three times four is 12. And then if I do 15 minus 12, I have three fourths left over. So the area would be three and three fourths square units. All right, and then on lesson 11, we have another figure, but this time they didn't give us the side lengths, but I can write these in a couple of different ways. So I've got one, two, three here, and then two thirds. So three and two thirds would be my length. And then I've got one, two, three here. So I've got three and two thirds times three. So my multiplication expression would be three and two thirds and then times three. Now, or I could have counted these individually. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And so 11 thirds would be another way to write three and two thirds. So I also could have written this as 11 thirds times three. Now, when I work this out, I have to make sure that I if I use this first one, then I multiply the three times the whole number and the three times the fraction. So a way that I could write that would be three times two thirds and then plus three times three. And I could get that from the picture too because if I have these three here and then three here, I would be multiplying three times three and then here, I'm multiplying three times the two thirds. So when I work this out, three times two thirds gives me six thirds, plus three times three, which gives me nine. And then six thirds would be the same thing as two. So two plus nine is going to give me 11 here. And that also, you know, the picture, there's nine here, but then if I put you know, this one right here to make a, a full one, and then this one right here makes a full one, and that's how we end up with the 11. Or if I worked out this one, I would get 33 thirds, which is the same as 11. 
All right, we're gonna wait and do the next two on the next video. But just check over your cooldowns and then you'll answer the question on the Google form.